Greetings PC Gen enthusiasts. This is Andrew Maitland with the PC Gen project coming to you with a little how-to guide on how to incorporate outside third-party uh, data sets or as you would normally call them source books. So there are two main ways of getting source books included into PC Gen that are not included as part of the normal build. One is the install feature. Now the install feature will only work if you have taken all of your data, your output sheets, your preview folder, and your system slash game mode, and I just put together some dummy files here uh, with your test game mode and all that. Uh, and you have this install file right here, which is this right here, and you zip it all up into either one of two formats, either a default zip or you can rename this to a PCZ zip folder. Now if you do that, you will now have everything that's in here will be part of this install and you can share this with your, your tabletop group and this will drop these folders correctly into their proper place. This is the recommended way if you're gonna be doing this quite a lot. If uh, your, your tabletop team um, is not as savvy, this is, this is the preferred way. The second way is you have everyone download source files. Now, I've got my own repo for my homebrew stuff. Uh, Bahamut Dragon is also a popular one. You can just download their zip folders uh, from their sites, uh, bada bing, bada boom. However, if they have these extra, anything that's not data, you will have to have them drop their system folder and copy that over into your PC Gen uh, install their preview, their output sheets, and data would go into wherever they, they have data. Now, PC Gen includes this nice feature. If you go to your location, there are actually three data directories that you have to choose from. You have your default data directory, you have a vendor default directory, and you have a homebrew default data directory. These are all in your PC Gen installation. However, you can change these outside the install to whatever you would like. Now, I have my own favorites. Uh, I got a characters where I have all my characters. I've got a homebrew folder set up for my homebrews. And then since I test PC Gen new sources as part of our debug process, my vendor is actually set up as new sources. But you can definitely use the ones in the defaults. Just realize every time you install a new version, you're going to lose those. Um, so that's how you would get those changes. Now, mind you, once you make these changes and you apply it, it's going to give you this warning. You've got to restart PC Gen in order for any of this to take effect. Once you do restart PC Gen, when you go into your select sources, you want to switch over from the default basic screen to your advanced screen, and then all of the game systems, uh, game modes will be available here for you to select. So if you were doing a Saga Born or a Starfinder or a Pathfinder 2, you go into those, those folders. Um, and then uh, you just find these source books and then you add them over. And that's how you add and select all your various books. I prefer the advanced loader screen because it lets me choose exactly what supplements I want to add into my, my loading. These basic ones are just to get you off the ground and started. So, you know, we got the Starfinder, we got uh, a demo for Fantasy Craft, we got the 5e, and we got the core supplements for Pathfinder and also a Game Master Players. Uh, and then your SRD 3.0 and SRD 3.5 uh, also for players. But if you want to start using any of the advanced stuff, especially for your Pathfinder where you've got lots of choices, I highly recommend that you go into your advanced folder and you can see that we've got a lot of source books that are available to be selected. Of course, you have to, you know, open them up. And a special note you see under this homebrew, there is a Pathfinder campaign 6.60. This is actually in your PC Gen install, ready for you to make your own custom creations. Anyways, I think that covers the 
the question of how do I add third-party sources. So just to recap, you have two methods. We have the install files, and in case I didn't show you how you get there, on your select source screen, there's this install data. It's down here. You select, and see this is not my default, so we go over here, and I'll go into my homebrew, demo install, and I click on my demo install PCZ, I hit open and it's going to have all the information that I put right over here. And then I just tell it which folder I want to drop it into and then I click install and it will correctly sort that all and it'll be ready to go at my next PC Gen restart. The other method is to download it uh, as a zip folder um, and then drop it into a folder that you will designate as your homebrew or your vendor folder. You can put it in your default directory, but once again, if you do any uh, frequent upgrades, that will not port over. Uh, so that's why I highly recommend any third-party supplements that are not part of the PC Gen program that you do please put in a outside your install folder location that you'll remember. I use my project's PC Gen path, and then I'll just do either homebrew, new source vendor, whatever works for you, uh, as long as it works at the end of the day. All right, well, I hope you find this useful, and this is Andrew signing off.